Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be doing another mod showcase, and I'm going to be showing you the Cars mod, which basically adds a variety of different kinds of car into Minecraft. And as you can see, they all have different models and textures, and also they have different speeds as well, which you'll probably see later. Um, but all of these cars have quite complex crafting recipes to actually make them, uh, so I'm going to leave those till last. And look at that, that bat's already made home in one of my uh, chest areas, but okay then. Uh, so yeah. I think I'm going to start off by showing you this car here, because it look, looks the cutest. I mean, look how small it is. It reminds me of one of those PLP50s in real life, uh, although it should be blue if it was one of those. And if you don't know what a PLP50 is, you should probably Google it. It's the world's smallest car. And look at that. Look at that back. It's got a luxury, um, like, velvet kind of red seat there. It's like a royal kind of car. But anyway, to actually access one of these cars, of course, you just place it down and then right click on it and then you get inside of it. And you can see at the front there, we've got some weird dial thingies. Uh, I think that's actually maybe the steering wheel. I don't know, possibly could be. But anyway, I'm just going to go into F5 mode so you can actually see the car in action. <laughs> Look at that, my head's poking out the top. Uh, yeah, the car is too small for even me to fit in. Look at those feet sticking out the front as well. It actually looks like it's a face. I mean, you've got the two eyes, which are the lights, and then you've got little metal bit at the bottom which is the mouth and then my legs just add to it it's it's really weird but yeah and also have you noticed that it's got square wheels which are actually turning around as i go around um a bit of a negative point of this mod is it had no sound custom sounds to it so you can't actually hear the car it's just a silent car maybe it's electric or something but yeah i can just drive around this custom made um racetrack here uh, which is kind of awesome I did find this on Planet Minecraft, so I'll give you a link in the description to this map if you want to download it too. But yeah, here I am just driving along in my cube-shaped car, which actually looks like a washing machine or something. Or maybe a cooker from behind. I don't know, but we better get back to the start so I can show you some other cars. And as you can see... What are you doing, pig? Do you want to get run over? You're just going to stand in front of me on the racetrack? Really bad idea being on here, to be honest. You're just going to get run over and turn into squashed bacon. Actually, that's probably how they flatten bacon. Just run over them with cars. Okay, maybe not. Just just ignore that. But yeah, so I'm just going to go back to the start and then change car. And we'll see if there's anything a bit faster than this. Because this is quite a slow car. And it's taking forever. Uh, but yeah, so back here we've actually got a Ferrari car. I believe it's called a Ferrari. Yeah, there we are. What a... a fer a F f <laughs> What's a Fafafi? Probably, um, <laughs> probably copyright issues there, so they have to call it a Fafafi or something. I don't know. That is, that is weird. But anyway, you just get in this one the same way, and we've actually got the uh, oh, the wheel turns in this one, the steering wheel. Look at that. How awesome is that? But you can see this one's instantly much faster than the first car we tested. You can see I'm going much faster now, and that pig is going to get run over. Now oh, actually, it slowed me down. Wow, that pig must have been made of some stern stuff. If it can withstand me hitting into it with a Ferrari, come on. Anyway, yeah, so we can just go around, and let's see if we can do a drift around this corner, that'd be awesome. So if you can actually control the car just by moving your mouse around like that, and yeah, look at that, if I flip my mouse around really fast, I can do some drifts. Now we're going through a chicane, and I should probably turn around before I get too far along this course, and then I can't get back. But look at those wheels, I just love the wheels in this mod. I like, they're keeping with the Minecraft theme by making them square instead of Circular and look at those lights at the front if only they glowed and you could turn them on and off Maybe I'm just being too hopeful there. Um, but yeah, it does seem that these cars are very small I mean Steve can barely fit in them. Well the model of Steve anyway because I'm not Steve I'm Whipper, but you know what I mean. So yeah, let's just go back to the start now You may notice there's two cars over there that are very similar in appearance I mean we've got this blue car and the yellow car and they actually have identical crafting recipes apart from one uses Blue dye and one uses yellow dye or dandelion dye whatever you want to call it So yeah, these cars are the same speed so there's no real point me showing you both of them But I like the yellow one better so let's get in the yellow one look at that look at the shape of this one as well It's got like a boot area and then a bonnet area or oh, yes stuff like that so we can just drive now Is that a front front grill or something? Now that is, that is definitely a face. Look at that. That is a face if I've ever seen one. It's got two eyes and then a massive mouth. And then that bumper could probably be a, I don't know, a beard or something. <laughs> but yeah, let's, now I'm just comparing cars to faces. Oh, we've actually got some rubber on the tyres of this car. Look at that. Upgrade. It should be a much smoother journey now then, since we're not driving on metal. Um, and again, you can see my legs sticking out the bottom. And this one's probably the same speed as that small car we saw at the start. And yeah, just look at that. Oh, we've got some backlights as well, which actually again looks like a face. Why does everything look like a face? <laughs> look look at that. I just love the glass in this one. 
He's actually got glass. Suddenly you can't look around as you're driving around. You can only look where, because wherever you look, you go to. So it's a bit of a shame you can't look out the windows as you're driving along. But that, that pretty much sums up the yellow car. Now, over here, I think this is called the 318 or something? The 313. Uh, I don't know what the point of this is. Is that a number on the back? Does that say 33? No, yeah, 313. Derp. <laughs> so that's why it's called the 313. Okay. Uh, let's just drive. This one seems the same speed as the Ferrari, is it? No, nah, it's a bit slower. I think it's a bit slower anyway, although it might be the same speed. And why is the wheel going so crazy? I'm not actually steering. See, I'm just going straight line and the wheel's going crazy. That is some problem with the steering there. <laughs> oh dear. So, that, that's this car. And let's just go back and I can show you the remaining two cars. Now, this one over here is actually a truck. As you can see, we've got the back end of the truck. Sadly, no trailers that you can attach to this, but it is a truck. And this one I should actually be able to fit in since it's taller than the rest. Will I be able to fit in this or will my head stick out the top? Oh, it's still just about... It's, it's, I'm just about in. You can just about see the top of my head, but I am actually in this car. We've got a lovely blue kind of velvet seat on this one. And let's just go forwards. Look at those wheels. And yeah, this is very slow, as you'd probably guess. I mean, it's a truck. And this one actually uses a... Um, more powerful engine I think it is than the others and you'll see that later when I show you the crafting but yeah maybe we should change it up and go the other direction uh, although this is really slow I mean I'd probably be faster to ride a snail uh, but sadly there's no snails in this mod that that would be cool though snail <laughs> riding snails now that that's something I definitely want to see in Minecraft uh, but yeah so that that's the truck look at that I'd, I wish you could actually dye these cars and make them a different colour, like you could right click on them with a dye and then they change colour because I wanted like a red truck or a green truck or something like that, but sadly you can't. So last but not least I'm going to show you the Jeep, and as you can see here it looks like a Jeep, uh, sadly it's not green, like Jeep green because that's generally what colour they come in, uh, but yeah. And we've got a lovely little windscreen there. I really love the windscreens on these cars. It just looks really awesome. Uh, and again, we've got the lovely square wheels. But you can get in this. And it's about the same speed as all the other cars. Uh, excluding the Fafari. <laughs> Fafari, that sounds just... It's just the weirdest word ever. Oh dear. Anyway, I did need to mention though that you can actually go up blocks with all of these cars. So you can see here I've got a wall which is one block high. And if I go up to it... The car will automatically drive up it and it also works with stairs so we can drive upstairs in this little stand here for all the people spectating the race which isn't actually happening. I mean that would be the slowest race in the world between these cars. I mean you've got trucks and uh, little bubble cars but yeah so I'm just driving upstairs and stuff so yeah these are really good for off-roading and since this is a jeep it just seems fitting that I'd show you that feature in a jeep. But anyway, next up I'm going to be showing you the crafting recipes for all these cars, which you probably really want to know if you want to actually download this mod. So first I think I'm going to show you how you can actually craft the individual components of all these cars. So let's start off with the wheels, because you know wheels are very important. And also the motor, because without that you're not going to be able to drive anywhere, are you? It'd just be a static car that just looks like a car, but it's completely pointless. But anyway, to craft the wheel you're just going to need four iron ingots arranged like that. Then you craft a wheel, and of course, you're going to need more than one of those. You're probably going to need two, although logically you'll need four, but for these crafting recipes you only need two. Uh, but there you go. And then also, to craft the car motor, the V3 version, you're going to need three redstone, three pistons, and three iron ingots. Then you get yourself the uh, three-cylinder car motor. But anyway, for the six-cylinder car motor, you're going to need two of those three-cylinder car motors. It actually makes sense when you think about it. And then surround that with iron ingots, like so. And that's needed for the truck, I believe. And then next up, we've got the cabins. And we've got two different kinds of cabins here. We've got the truck cabin and the car cabin. For the truck cabin, you're going to need that V6 uh, car motor and then a wheel. Just one wheel. I don't know why. And then four iron ingots, a glass pane, and also light blue carpet. And then for the car cabin, you're just going to need six bits of iron a light grey carpet, and the colour of the carpet does matter in this case, and also a glass pane. And then you can get the cabins which will be used later when you're actually making the cars. And then last but not least with the components, we've got red ingots. And these are made by putting rose red dye with an iron ingot, and then you get yourself some red ingots. And you're going to need more than one of these, so craft a load of those. So once you've actually crafted all of these parts, you can actually go on and craft the actual cars. Now we'll start off with a basic car which you craft like this. I'm not going to explain the crafting recipe, I'm sure you can all see it, but do note that this is the V3 version of the motor, not the V6, the V3. And then for the blue car, it's like this, and this one again is the V3 motor, and this one requires that car cabin you actually crafted earlier. And then for the yellow car, you just replace the blue die with the dandelion yellow die of the uh, blue car, like so, and then you can see 
we've also got a carb cabin and the same V3 motor. And then if we go on to the Fafari, <laughs> oh dear, I'm never going to be able to say that correctly. But anyway, you're just going to need three red ingots, uh, some dandelion yellow dye, the V6 engine, because of course this car is much faster, and we've also got the two wheels and the iron ingot. And then of course we've got the 313 or 313, whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm just saying it's 313 because you know, Ferraris and the naming, it's like a Ferrari F430. It's, they don't say 430, do they? They say 430, so I'm just going with that naming trend. Uh, but anyway, we've got a V3 motor here, and we've got five of those red ingots. That's why I told you to make loads of them. And then next up, we've got the truck, of course. The really slow truck, but we, all you need for this one, it's a very simple crafting recipe, is the truck cabin with an iron ingot and a wheel. And there you go, you got yourself a nice truck. A boring grey truck, but it is a nice truck anyway. Uh, but last but not least, we've got the Jeep, which again uses the V3 motor, not the V6, with five iron ingots and two wheels like that. And that pretty much sums up everything for the mod. Now you know how to craft them, and you can choose which car you want. I'd probably go for the Fafari, that's the one. <laughs> or one of these small cars here, because they're so cute. I mean, look at that. You look so awesome driving around in that. But anyway, thank you for watching. This is the Cars and Drivers mod, I think it is, or something like that. I don't know. It's a weird name. Uh, but thank you for watching. Please remember to leave a like if you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next mod showcase.